my mask back on. Hi, my name is Dr. Nicole Garcia and I am the principal at Clay International Academy. I'm here today to share information about our school and to help you understand how great we are. So one thing that makes Clay International really different and really special is that we are K-8. So we service children in our area starting in kindergarten and going all the way to eighth grade. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to see our kindergartners progress through the years and I feel really lucky to be part of an environment that's special like that. Not only are we K-8, but we are also in the candidacy phase for IB. So we are really excited about the journey that we're on, and it's really critical uh, to the work that we do on a daily basis. And this year, we also started a French dual language immersion program starting in kindergarten and first grade. Next year, that will expand to kindergarten, first, and second grade. So if you are interested in joining that program, please check us out. Tracy Slattery, who is our IB coordinator, will also be sharing a little bit more information about our dual language program and the IB program. We offer athletics for boys and girls in grades six through eight, and we are working on designing some club athletic programs for our younger scholars. Particularly, we wanna be able to provide summer programming where we can enrich the opportunities for our scholars so that they can be involved in athletics and be part of our feeder. We also are the third time city champion in girls volleyball. We are so proud of our Lady Cougars and our coach Warren Bynum is phenomenal and is a great, great um, asset to the Clay International Academy and we are really lucky to have him. At Clay International, we also have several partnerships with the University of Notre Dame. The University of Notre Dame helps to provide a very enriching and culturally diverse opportunity for our scholars to interact with um, scholars who are outside of the country. So they come in and share information about their culture and their language, and it's really a great opportunity for our scholars to learn about the world around them. We are also home to the Cougar Cast, which is led by our digital integration specialist, Chad Gish. He creates a like a TV show <laughs> about Clay International Academy that comes out every two weeks and it's often student developed and student contributed and it's a great way for you to learn more about our school and so if you go to our website you can watch all of the CougarCast episodes and learn more about Clay International Academy. Next we have Tracy Slattery, our IB coordinator, who's going to share a little bit of information about our IB programming and French dual language immersion program. But before she comes on, I just wanna share a little bit about what makes the IB really special at Clay International. So one of the tenets is the idea that we are developing internationally minded scholars. So we really want them to understand that they are part of a bigger community, that they are connected not only to the local community, but to the national community and the global community. And so we really strive to learn more about different cultures. We try to make sure that we see things from different perspectives and that we examine the world in a critical way. We also encourage all of our scholars to be multilingual. So that means our kindergartners start taking Spanish. And so they take Spanish K through eight, unless they're part of the French dual language program and their uh, primary language would be French. Our IB learner attributes are also a critical part of the daily interactions of our scholars. So we have 10 IB learner attributes. They are thinker, reflective, communicator, being balanced, risk takers, open-minded, principled, caring, inquires, and knowledgeable. You can see how um, moving to e-learning and doing a hybrid model um, 
it's been really important for us to lean on those IB learner attributes. And so it's been good to be able to have those to go to and to be able to discuss critical things with our scholars and lean on those learner attributes. We also want to make sure that we have a broad, balanced, and connected curriculum. And one thing you'll see at Clean International is that we try to use conceptuals, understanding to be able to make sense out of the world. I will now introduce Tracy Slattery. Tracy Slattery. I'm the IB coordinator at Clay International Academy. We actually have two IB programs at Clay International. We have the primary years program, which is grades K through 5, and the middle years program, which is grades 6 through 8. So much goes into um, calling ourselves an IB program school. Um, there are many components to this holistic education, but what's really important is what comes out of this educational program. Um, we work intentionally to provide all the supports that our scholars need to become lifelong learners. Dr. Garcia talked a little bit about the aim of international mindedness and the student-centered student learner profile attributes. I'd like to say a little bit more about our curriculum or our learning design. We're broad and balanced, conceptual, and connected. Broad and balanced really refers to the academics. We really strive to teach a broad range of concepts and at the same time we keep our instruction balanced, which means that we don't spend too much time, or what IB would consider too much time, on any one um, subject area. So teaching our, our scholars to be um, healthy and physically minded is just as important as teaching them to read and do mathematics and be artists and performing artists. All of these things help to make a holistic, well-rounded scholar. Um, conceptual refers to large key ideas. So in a classroom at Clay International, you won't find students just studying, say, the life cycle of a butterfly. What they'll be studying is the broader concept of cycles and they might talk about the life cycle of a butterfly as an illustration of that broader concept. Studying broad concepts helps us with the final uh, piece, and that's connectedness. If we keep our studies uh, conceptual, it's easier for our scholars to, con um, to connect them, to connect all the subject areas, to connect from grade level to grade level, to connect the learning to themselves, to their community, and what we really strive for, and that is the world. Um, instruction at Clay International is based as much as possible on the inquiry cycle, so our scholars learn to inquire, act, and reflect, and we feel strongly that a good, strong, valid inquiry will lead students to want to act, and they'll feel empowered to do that. And as part of all of learning for both the scholars and the teachers, we do a lot of reflecting about how effective our actions are. Finally, we teach our scholars the skills that they need to be self-regulated learners. Um, basically, put in a very simple sense, those are study skills, but it's actually much more than that. Uh, Dr. Garcia mentioned some of the community support we have. Um, we have a partnership with IU Bloomington and their School of Global and International Studies. They work directly with our teachers to help them provide strong, globally-minded instruction. Um, Notre Dame Center for the Study of Languages and Cultures provides us with those Fulbright Scholars that are our foreign language teaching assistants that come right into the classrooms virtually right now, but hopefully in person again soon to teach students about their cultures and their languages. And finally, um, our fifth graders are fortunate enough to learn Latin as part of the fifth grade experience at Clay International Academy through the Classics Department at Notre Dame. So as if that wasn't enough, this year we are fortunate enough to have added French dual language to our programming. 
Um, the goals of the French dual language instruction fit beautifully with our IB goals. Um, for, through the uh, French dual language, we strive to have bilingual and biliterate learners or scholars, and actually we're striving for multi-literate and multilingual. Um, the students in the dual language immersion program are expected to have high academic achievement and also to show social cultural competence and value cultures and languages and the, just the diversity of all of us here on the planet. And French, how lucky are we to have French? It's one of the six official languages of the United Nations. It's the dominant language in both um, the fine arts and the culinary arts. It's spoken in over 55 countries, um, everywhere from France, obviously, to Canada, the Caribbean, and on the continent of Africa alone. The, the number of countries that speak French take up a greater area than the area of the United States. So we think our French speaking students will be well, well suited to go out and change the world. So having said all this, my job as coordinator is to support our teachers in designing the learning experiences that move Clay International Academy toward these goals, both for IB and French dual language immersion. And I can tell you that the energy and enthusiasm that our teachers bring to this work is amazing. With our scholars, we aren't only creating powerful learning experiences, but we're creating an environment that is welcoming to all scholars who want to participate. And we really hope that you'll consider enrolling your scholar with us next year. Thank you. I just want to take a moment and thank you for watching. Um, feel free to email me directly at ngarcia at sb.school. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have and tell you more about the International Academy. And as always, it's a great day to be a cougar.